Hi, my name is Julius Servan. My partners are Cole Brennan, Blake Anderson, and Dominic Wingfield. In this video, we will come across the history of the atomic theory from Democritus to James Cradley. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm Democritus. I was born in 460 BC and died in 370 BC. I expanded the atomic theory of Leucopus. I support the atoms to be impenetrable and have a density proportionate to their volume. I maintained the impossibility of dividing things to infinitum. I am Aristotle. I was born in 384 and died in 322 BC. I do not believe in the atomic theory. I believe that all things were made of the four elements. Fire, wind, water, and earth. I developed the scientific method. Atomos means literally uncuttable. Hi, I'm John Dalton. I was born September 6, 1766. I'm known for my development of modern atomic theory and my research in color blindness. I discovered ele elements are made of extremely small particles called atoms. Atoms of a given element are identical in size, mass, and other properties. Atoms also differ in elements, can differ in size, mass, and other properties. Atoms cannot be subdivided, created, or destroyed. I created the base foundation of knowledge about atomic makeup of simple and complex molecules. I, will, I allow for coefficient manufacturing of chemical compounds because it essentially gives manufacturers a recipe for determining the correct chemical proportions in a given compound. Hi, I'm JJ Thompson, born December 18, 1856. I'm known for my research of the proof of the existence of negatively charged particles, which are now called atoms, which earned me a Nobel Prize for physics. I managed to estimate its magnitude by performing experiments with charged particles and gases. I showed that cathode rays consist of particles that conduct electricity. Dalton thought atoms were indivisible particles, but my discovery of electrons proved the existence of submatic particles. This ushered a, mo a model of atomic structure referred as plum pudding model. In my model, the atom is composed of electrons surrounded by a soup of positive charge to balance electrons, negative charges. Positive charges are the pudding and negative charges are the plums. I'm Ernest Ruthford, and I am considered the father of nuclear physics, and I also discovered the nuclear atom, which can also be called the planetary model of the atom. The gold foil experiment proved the existence of small, massive center to atoms, which would later be known as the nucleus of an atom. My model and Thompson's model differed. In my model, the atom is made up of a central charge surrounded by a cloud of orbiting electrons, Thompson discovered electrons, which were tiny particles that had negative charges, surrounded by a group of positive charges to balance the charges out. I'm Niels Bohr, born on October 7, 1885. In 1913, I passed on to the study structure of atoms on the basis of Rutherford's discovery of the atomic nucleus. By introducing conceptions borrowed from the quantum theory, as established by Plaque, I succeeded in, works at, in working out and presenting a picture of the atomic structure that still serves as an education of the physical and chemical properties of elements. The improvement for the Bohr model in 1913 has been superseded, but it helped to lead the way to a modern quantum mechanical matter of the atom. Yeah! Hi, my name is Louis de Broglie, born August 15, 1892. In 1924, my work on the quantum theory led me to discover the wave nature of electrons and suggested that all matter have wave properties. My theory helped discover the wave pattern in an atom by assuming that the electron is moved by a wave and the whole number of wavelengths must fit. The wave-like behavior of particles discovered by Broglie was used by Schrodinger in his formation of wave mechanics. I'm Erwin Schrodinger and I developed the quantum theory in the early 1920s. 
I developed a number of results in the field of quantum theory, which form the basis of wave mechanics. I formed the wave equations as well as developed part of matrix mechanics. My model differed from Bohr's model. Bohr's model was only for the hydrogen atom and it showed electrons or orbiting the nucleus in definite paths. I had a model that showed electrons only have a certain probability of being in a region around the nucleus. I am James Chadwick. I was born in 1891 and I died in 1974. In 1932, I discovered the existence of neutrons, which are elementary particles uh, devoid of any electrical charge. I helped split atoms and eventually got to aided in the invention of the nuclear bomb.